Paul Cram here. I am super excited to be doing this unboxing of Earthworm Gym 2. Uh, just a smidge of a backstory really quick. In 2020 um, is when this, this, this was funded through Kickstarter, this actual uh, graphic novel. So I saw that Doug Tenable Tenable? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but I'm a fan of this artist's, you know, graphic novels and style and stuff. And he was doing a Kickstarter. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll be in, you know, get in on that. And I did. And then, you know, the pandemic hit and it was like, okay, things are taking a while, taking a while, taking a while. Um, as they do when a pandemic hits the entire world. So here's the box that it came in. If you don't recognize all of the uh, these things, it's he says, whatever they are, they're evil, says Farmer Jim to Earthworm Jim. Uh, that's the that's the sort of the top of the box uh, uh, right by the address piece. Uh, Farmer Jim is punching Earthworm Jim and he says, that's for kissing my daughter. Again, um, these are super, super fun little, uh, little things. I don't know. They're just little nods to some of the pieces I'm assuming in the story. Uh, we have Princess, what's her name? <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna, I, I am going to open this up. Um, I did want to mention though, right before I do that, Doug Tenepole. He's the artist behind a lot of graphic novels that I've really enjoyed reading, you know, over the years, including Cardboard. Um, the, the, just the messages and stuff in his work, I think is really cool. Um, I did write down some of them. Newt's Cardboard, obviously. Oh, excuse me. Bad Island, Ghostopolis. Uh, th those are all uh, Doug Tenapole. And you can see it. I, I, that's something I just, I adore about artists is you can see their style in, in their work. So da, 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 da. let's open the box. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. So the inside of the box has artwork around a bit as well. Um, I know the Kickstarter campaign. So I think that, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of extra goodies in here um because the kickstarter had some stretch goals and things and they hit they hit all of them it was cool because this particular um kickstarter project raised over a quarter of a million dollars to to work on this um here's a sticker <laughs> here's a sticker of princess what's her name uh earthworm jim uh another earthworm jim sticker pencil uh, this is not a sticker, actually. This one here is a, a patch, which actually would go really well there. <laughs> um, and then there's a couple of, there is a couple of, uh, like, extra comic books. Um, they called him Evil, which looks kind of fun. Um, Big, Big, Bigfoot Bill, Born Twice. Um which looks really kind of fun too. And a piece of artwork. We've got Earthworm Jim, Farmer Jim. Um, I'm totally blanking on the, oh gosh. Yeah, from that first book, you got uh, Princess What's-Her-Name, Snot. Yeah, so that, that's super cool. Um, and this is awesome because in in the in the box that I got, um, I actually was one of the people who um, got not just Earthworm Jim to fight the fish. I actually got Earthworm Jim launch the cow, which is the the first one. This is the second one, obviously. Um, and I just want to show you in the very first one. I have to say too, oh my gosh, the art on these and the, I mean, there's, these are really well done. Look at the foil um, on the books and actually, wow, um, gold trimmed pages and cool artwork, obviously. Um, there's something about, there's something about Doug's work that I so appreciate is obviously the style of the art. Um, but the, um, 
the writing is always so funny in a in a, a sense of humor i guess it's just it's i love it um this whole letter here really <laughs> made me laugh i'm probably not going to read you the whole thing um but i love it shows a little bit of his sense of humor uh welcome to earthworm jim saga i've been ruminating about this story for over 27 years so it's a relief to finally be able to put it to paper i don't know if i could say that it was written in blood but i could say that it was written in mirth um, when I was a kid, I wanted to work for Walt Disney Studios as an animator. Then I grew up and put these immature ideas behind me for a grown-up pursuit, like making comics. Um, it's just, he's funny. It's, it's well done. It's very, very well done. Um, the humor is spot on. Um, and I, I just, it's, yeah, it's, it's fun. Anyway, that's Launch the Cow, the first book. Um, here is, um, there's the inside of the box if you're curious. Uh, here is Earthworm Jim 2, Fight the Fish. Which, again, super nice embossing. Um, awesome artwork, of course. Um, <laughs> Princess, what's her name? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun uh, reading this. Um, I just, I, I so appreciate it. Um, specifically, Earthworm Jim to fight the fish. Um, yeah, I just wanna, I wanna show. Like, look at that. There's a lot of people that go into making this. You know, um, get rid of these out of the way. <laughs> um, Fight the Fish by Doug Tenuple, colored by Catherine Garner, book designed by Joe Potter, flatting by Radka Kavalkova, <laughs> end sheets by Alejandro Mirabal, edited by Christina Lynn, produced by Reagan Phillips, print manager Robert Smith for API. It's just, there's a lot of work that goes into these and it shows. It's just, it's so well done. Um, yeah, so bravo team that put this all together. Um, thanks everybody. I'm super excited and I'm going to go read. Bye.